So can you see uh, my screen? Yes. All right, wonderful. Yeah, maybe mine is mine the one that I share about perhaps uh, basic things, but I'm sure here uh, there are uh, colleagues that maybe have not using it. So I continue with my talk with my students. So uh, it is important for us to engage with the students, you know, um, like uh, the North Fadina just mentioned just now that uh, it's more like we are facilitating the students. So perhaps when they ask about in my, my example, my uh, work that uh, the student would like to work in Sacha Inchi, a type of plants, and also would like to work in germination. So uh, perhaps they want to learn, so they just ask. I think this is everybody uh, can write the prompt. I think the important part for chat GPT is, the, the, is how we interact with, with uh, chat GPT. Uh, I, I don't have any, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, I don't receive any lessons that I just play around by myself and experimenting the technology. So, for example, you can, a student can just ask, uh, what type of plan is such an inch? Something like that. You know, they, they, they can give us uh, at least some, some assistance uh, for the students uh, to write. But always uh, check with them uh, that they're not copying 100% that we can check that as well uh, with other, other applications. For example, as well, sometimes uh, we ask questions. I do ask questions sometimes. Like they, will, they want to work with germinations. Let's say, what are the importance of germinations? I'm sorry, seed germinations. Seed germinations in agriculture, for example, right? So, uh yeah that ChatGPT can give uh, instantly some of example but then uh it is us uh with the students you know try to go along with the list and see uh, what probably are reasonables and what are probably not and then uh so i asked the students since they uh, she, she for the students would like to do something on germinations so perhaps what are the what are the um, problems? What are the factors uh, that influence uh, seed germination? Right? Okay. So uh, things here, uh, right? Water, temperature. Okay. There's a list of things down there. So we can discuss with the students uh, regarding all the things that listed down here. So. Let's say it's like uh, in, in, in my case, like uh, we already know that such an inch is uh, seeds is a uh, hard seed. They have a coat. The seed coat is very hard. So probably and we also found that uh, I use semantic scholars uh, uh, with the students to find, let's say, uh, such an inch nations here. Yeah. All right. There are a few things uh, about such an intervention. So we particularly interested on on this this uh, what do you call that this paper. So I already uh, downloaded it. So we found here there is a sentence and there's a premises that says that well such an inches seeds have full viability, low germination rate, lower disease resistance, blah blah blah. So looking back at ChatGPT, so what probably uh, the students are interested probably can uh, look at the factors that can improve the germinations of such a uh, Let's say the students choose here, uh, let's seed coat hardness. Probably we can remove seed coat from such a inchi then and look at the influence on the uh, influence on the uh, germinations. All right. Uh, Dr. Nufandrina, uh, you can stop me if I uh, talk, uh, if I'm taking uh, times, yeah? Right, so perhaps uh, after that, uh, I can ask the student just to outline the work, okay? Let's say this is just I'm uh, making quick things. Of course, there are plenty of discussions that, that, that we need to do. For example, okay, let, let's see, let's say is that your interest on the uh, effect of uh, uh, seed coat on the germination of such an inch. Let's come up with the outlines, all right? We can ask, uh, come up 
with an outline for a thesis. <laughs> Just write this is the on the effect of seed code. Uh, let's say we want to remove them. Removals on such a inchi germination. Germination. All right. Okay, so that's the the outlines, all right? Uh, that can help the students, right? Uh, perhaps to look into it. So this is this is where we come in and uh, you know discuss with the students to see what the things are probably that that uh, we should do and check again what are the things that necessary uh, for the students to go into further. And then, of course, uh, the things that probably uh, the students need to read about. Okay, um, there's one in the chat. That thing Dr. Abu mentioning about reference. Yes, I do agree with that. Let me show you. There's uh, something that is quite uh, risky or dangerous regarding uh, asking references from from Chat GPT. That me and my students are already aware about this. Let's say that uh, we ask uh, provide, for example, provide five related reference on this. Okay. So uh, ChatGPT come out with um, with reference, but I'm sure if we go and find all these references given, these are fantasy, <laughs> right? Uh, Anything with uh, DOI, I think nothing with DOI. With DOI, we can check immediately. For example, something like this. Let's see. I don't. I don't think there it is. Okay. Let's find this. No. <laughs> All right. There's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, the reference that have been given by ChatGPT mostly is uh, uh, what do you call that? It's just a makeup. ChatGPT just make up the references. So it's better to find, uh, like uh, mentioned by Dr. Nufadrina, to find references, not by using ChatGPT. They will give, uh, this is all fantasies, I can rest assured. If they give DOI, sometimes they give DOI, you can check DOI by using uh, DOI org. So something else, something else will come out, all right? So no reference from ChatGPT, perhaps using other, uh, uh, the AI, uh, usually I use semantic scholars, but then that will be some basic people using it. And I think Dr. Fatina will show others. I heard about something about rabbit just now. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing usually that uh, I talk with the students uh, for their initial work. And then mostly I use as well for, uh, for um, paraphrasing or checking the students' writing because uh, I would like to concentrate more into the student's content rather than um, getting headache fixing the, uh, the writing, all right? So the student can do the, what do you call that, anything by themselves by using ChatGPT. For example, uh, let's see, this is a very basic one, okay? This one is good enough, but still you see that some say run out there, uh, no capital there. If you read that, not that very elegant, all right? Uh, paragraph here, all right? So we can use that. The, the important part is the prompt there. The, the prompt that usually I use is rewrite uh, the paragraph. So what usually we would like from a, a, a scientific article should be, should be like uh, concisely, con on sizely, all right. What else? Uh, maybe logically, <laughs> something like that. Uh, perhaps uh, what are things that usually for scientific paper probably uh, pre precisely, <laughs> whatever that we can write there. Um, so it will just help to make the paragraph. If, Big elegant, such as she sits from Rana, well, obtain from Rana. We can, we can uh, edit that later on. Uh, two sets of seed were prepared, one with the seed code. So it, it gives better options uh, compared to the uh, previous one that the students 
uh, wrote before. So if students can help with this, so it is easier for us you know, to check the content so we can give more time to the content rather than uh, taking too much time and in editing the sentences. However, however, this is considered uh, a good sentence already, yeah? But something like this, this is, this is also from students, all right? If we, if we read this, it's just that like uh, the, the, the sentence that is, the content is everywhere, you know? Uh, it's not probably construct uh, paragraph. Uh, they talk about such an importance, and then suddenly here talk about oil composition, blah blah blah, and then uh, it's it's not a good uh, paragraph with good uh, construct. If we put this, we do the same. Uh, we write the paragraph uh, concisely and logically, <laughs> right? Even though it probably uh, fixed the grammar and so on, if you go and read uh, the sentence, it's still, you know, uh, it's not a really composed paragraph. So there's a certain limit that ChatGPT can do or ChatGPT cannot do. Even though sometimes I play around like uh, reconstruct, <laughs> reconstruct the paragraph, all right? yeah okay maybe a bit better than compared to previous one but then there's still that uh, i do agree and very very much uh agree with that we have to go and check uh, again uh, but at least uh probably less time uh, taken in terms of of editing so i think uh that's how i use uh chat gp with students uh basically it can do whatever sometimes Quillbot does. <laughs> I do find it uh, because it's free, right? Uh, Quillbot that we need to pay. Uh, well, I'm, those uh, experts probably knows probably Quillbot maybe do better. But then uh, for those who would like to find something that is free, then uh, I think ChatGPT uh, is enough <laughs> to help to edit uh, the writing. Uh, be, be, and then uh, so we can concentrate on the on the content. All right, uh, Dr. Fadrina. All right, thank you very much. This is very good. Uh, we also received several questions in the chat, Dr. Aswan. Right. I would yeah. like to ask your experience, yeah, because from your demonstration just now, uh, you used ChatGPT. You demonstrated how we can, um, how you encourage the students to come up with better writing based yeah. on some of their original idea. So yeah. in your experience, did you firstly ask the students to firstly submit some thoughts or ideas? And after that, you ask them to elaborate. What Was that the steps that you taken? Yes. It needs from the student first, not coming from me or from ChatGPT. At least they have some idea first and then they can you know, do searching and get assistance from, from ChatGPT. Mm, this is great. So I imagine this is where the mentoring happens, the coaching. You maybe ask the questions um, at large to the whole class or you sit down together with your friends, you ask them, you discuss first and then after that, you give them the students time. So um, just imagine rather than we just give them one instruction, no direct interaction with the students. So you took effort to firstly listen and encourage the students and also filtering and guiding them to what could be these valuable thoughts that you want to be extracted or you want them to express, right? Yep, yep, yes. Okay, so this uh, hopefully can answer and also uh, inspire to other uh, members, uh, the audience today. Um, there were also some questions regarding, uh, maybe if you can share Dr. Azwan, in yep. your experience, uh, how you detect the originality and, and in your opinion, would this lead to unintentional plagiarism and any other concerns that you have 
right. as you use ChatGPT? Okay, uh, I do concern about plagiarism as well as, uh, yeah, mostly plagiarism. Uh, number one, uh, I do have a thought on, let's say, like, okay, we, we write something, you know, and then we want to publish it. Then we're going to send, if we have money, we're going to send to proof uh, readers, right? The one that who's going to, you know, to, to fix our uh, writings. That uh, I feel the same as well. There's, there's some accusation like, uh, well, you ask ChatGPT to edit. That doesn't mean that, uh, like asking somebody to write for you, right? Even though it's uh, like just fixing our sentences, you know, our, making it more elegant and then more better uh, for people to understand. Well, that would be the same as well as if we send that to a proofreader, right? And then we have to pay money, right? Uh, so ChatGPT uh, just help in a simple way just to help with fixing the grammars and then the, the important part is the writing styles you know the, the writing styles that sometimes lack uh, recently i see but then i i've been myself uh using it to 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 check my writing as well but then after after a while after i use it then we can understand already like there are certain patterns, you know, that sometimes we don't need ChatGPT to help us in, in you know, in uh, constructing sentences because we already have like a few times, you know, asking ChatGPT uh, to uh, to make the sentences better. So that will become an exercise for the students and as well as for me, you know, to to create or come up with with better sentences uh, to check students whether they going to that that the writing would be 100 percent from chat gpt or not that would be difficult but if i can share hold on yeah uh let me share again uh there is uh one tools what do you call that i have here already it's called gpt zero all right that uh we can check the writing whether the writing is from uh, AI or human, something like this. And this is one that already been corrected or improved by ChatGPT. So we can put it there, right? And check. Well, short paragraph, uh, most probably not will not be detected, but I'm not sure whether it's the paragraph if panjang. Eh? But this one is originally from students. And so it's just been improved by ChatGPT. Sometimes this this tool will not catch. Let's see. See, the the tool doesn't catch as long as the writing originally from students and been improved by ChatGPT. If the writing is from ChatGPT, uh, it, it will definitely will be catch. For example, maybe let's say uh, explain. Uh, the sound factors influencing influencing seed germination. Let's try that. Okay, let's copy this. <laughs> let's copy that and put in our GPT zero. Oh, can I find? Sometimes, if I think it's because of the list, uh, it becomes a list. But if it's like a paragraph. Definitely, this GPT zero uh, can uh, what do you call this can catch at least. But Natanda, I think that's that's all from me. But it's really difficult. Very uh, yeah. Yes, very difficult actually to detect. I've been writing also in the chat. Um, so uh, I would like to suggest that we need to balance rather than being investigator. Because we don't want to invest too much time for us to do this detecting stuff, no. right? It is more important for us to redesign the assessment. If you notice, there is one very valuable part that Dr. Aswan has shared just now. She invested 
in the time to listen and to encourage and to be able to elicit original responses. So we can do some intermediate uh, assessment submission, like the students giving drafts of what they want to do. Usually, in my opinion, I uh, usually use the forum and I would create a template uh, for the students to fill up their thought idea, especially for project and assignment. They have to fill up, they have to submit in in, in very short time, like uh, one day or, or two days uh, for them to fill in also who are their members, they submit in the forum and they need to express and they need to comment with each other. So this intermediation process allows us to detect the original and fresh um, reflection from the students. And after that, baru dia orang focus lah on documentation. Sebab ayat panjang-panjang tu documentation. That's why if you notice in my slide just now, uh, there is suggestion for us to focus um, not to hide at the back of, uh, not to hide behind lengthy reports, but rather focusing on uh, critical points, discussion and reflection. Uh, I would like to invite, uh, ni second round ya, yeah? Dr. Azwan dengan uh, Puan Safiyah, ada nak tambah apa-apa? Uh, nothing much, I think, uh, well, sometimes during the busy time, uh i do use chat gpt as well like uh dr fadlina like we want to give them some quick questions to the students after classes can just ask chat gpt to come out with upper mcq questions but always always uh read back because the answers given sometimes are not according to what we understand i think we are the human should should look into it and and as well i remind I remind many times to my students that yes, uh, ChatGPT can help you, but you have to read that. You have to read them back because we are the human, we are the biologists in, in our case. Sometimes, sometimes this is just a funny uh, and lighter part. Lah. Sometimes if I find like ah, there's some emails, let's say, uh, come and then I don't have time. I sometimes I just ask ChatGPT to write, <laughs> make the emails, you know, so it's funny. It's just a funny part. Sometimes uh, it can it can uh, answer emails as well. So I just uh, found it astonishing that how this technology can can help us. Yeah. Don't worry, Dr. Azwan. Let's use it all the time as long as it's free. Unless if you're <laughs> yeah. to pay. Use yeah. it all the time.